Today we're seeing the surprising effect of dripping water into superheated sand. Guys, a little while ago I saw a video with water droplets falling into superheated sand and the immediate steam release and laden frost effect of the water in the sand had this really cool popping and bubbling effect which made it look like the sand itself was boiling and I really wanted to try that out so today that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to replicate the original look as well as trying to toy with it with a few different materials to see how that ends up looking on camera as well. To start off, we're not using regular sand. This is actually glass bead. This is the same stuff we used when we did our fluid sand air bed. If you guys recall, Mark Rober made a huge fluid air bed and we then showed how in more detail to make the small version of the fluid air bed. And it works best with this extremely fine powdery sand like material. So this is actually glass bead used for sandblasting the stuff. I had some left over, it's been years, but I still have most of this bag. So this is what we're going to use as our sand, because it's a very uniform and fine texture. Start throwing some sand in our pan here. There we go, that's like a good amount. And now I'm going to start heating this up. It's going to take probably 10 minutes to get hot, and I'll stir it occasionally. But once it's hot, we should be able to drip our water in and get that really cool boiling sand look I was talking about. So as a quick comparison, here's what happens if I drip water into the sand right now, when it's cold. It's just been sitting in my garage. It just gets soaked in like water and sand. Now it is forming a kind of cool ring because of how fine this glass powder is, but it's certainly not bubbling or boiling or anything. Here at the King of Random, we are all big readers. We love learning about new awesome things or being whisked off to fantastical places in fun fictional stories. And something we use for that is Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. They've got the best sellers and new releases in lots of different genres, including podcasts, comedies, and more. I've used Audible quite a bit over the years, and I gotta say, I'm a big fan. Most recently, I've just finished listening to Book 4 in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. I've listened to all four books in the series, as well as a bunch of others. I love being able to listen to my books because it lets me do other things at the same time. I can be building or working on something, and I can still be listening to my book the entire time. I am the kind of person who re-reads or re-listens to books, and I do love that after I've bought a book on Audible, it's mine. I can delete it from my phone, but Audible keeps track of what things I own, so when it's time to re-listen to something, I can re-download it and start listening again almost immediately. Now recently, Audible has launched their newest plan, Audible Plus. With Audible Plus, you get full access to their Plus catalog, which is filled with thousands and thousands of select originals, audiobooks, and podcasts. Audible Plus connects you to tons of content, whether it's comedy, romance, suspense, true crime, science fiction, or fitness and wellness, Audible Plus has so much to offer. Now is the best time to try Audible Plus because with our holiday offer, you are getting a sweet deal, only $4.95 a month for your first six months. After your first six months, it's still only $7.95 a month, to download and stream thousands of all-you-can-listen audiobooks, originals, podcasts, and more. You can use this deal using our promo codes. Visit audible.com slash kingofrandom or text kingofrandom to 500-500. Our sand is nice and blistering hot, and we're not talking like sunny day at the beach kind of hot. We're talking about way hotter than that. You would not survive if the beach was like this. So now we're just going to take water and drip it in to see what effect we get. I'm hoping that what it looks like is sort of a boiling sand. Let's give it a shot. Ha ha! Look at that! So the water that landed in the sand, first it sort of popped, and now the water that's still in there is releasing steam so quickly that it makes it look like the sand itself is boiling away. That's fun. That one's like traveling along the pan. There it goes, and now it's all boiled away. Let's do that again. That's fun. It travels. I'm guessing I'm on a slight slope here. So it just goes that way. Just do like kind of a bunch of them so the macro isn't as important yet. Got several drops of water kind of all over the sand.
That's really cool. Now I want to try with food coloring to see what it does. Uh, now food coloring is water based, but I don't know how much, if any, of the color will actually travel off or with the sand or anything. I haven't tried this before. So it may look just the same or it may look wildly different. About the same with a little bit of dark green being shot into the air. I'm gonna try, I've got pink and yellow. I'll see if those are any more visible. The dark green just basically looked black. So you can see it when it pops a little, but for the most part, we're getting a very similar result. You then get a little uh, a bead of pink stained glass at the top though, that's kind of fun. This is our yellow. That's just where all the water kind of bonded to the glass sand. Part of our pink one. So not a lot different result with the food coloring. And I didn't think that it would do a lot, but it was worth a try. One other thing I will try though, is I'm just gonna put a bunch of green food coloring into the water and then I'll try it with green water. That was more exciting, but I don't think it was because of the food coloring. I think it was just because it hit an extra hot part of sand. Kind of see the beads anywhere the sand may have temporarily cooled off a little bit. So when the water escapes up out of the sand, you do see it a little bit more as a colored dot rather than a white sand colored dot, but it's not a huge change. All right, now one other thing I do want to try, we've got our sand nice and hot, and at one point in the past, I don't know how many of you would remember this video, but we dropped drips of glow stick down onto a hot plate. And instead of directly onto the hot plate, I want to try dripping it onto the hot sand. I'm gonna crack the glow stick. There's a little bit of glow to that, but we are outside, so you can't see it very well. So I wanna see if that glow becomes more visible when it hits the sand. Glow sticks do light up brighter when they get hot. So it definitely doesn't react to the sand the same way. Since it's not water-based, it's not immediately putting off steam the same amount. But it does look cool with the color. Now we're gonna try the same thing, but with salt instead of sand. This is just regular table salt. So it's not as fine of a grain of the sands. I just wanted to try it with this because we should be able to heat the salt up to nearly the same temperature with no visible change, but it should still react to the water. Our salt is hot. Let's see what happens when we drip water into it. Are we gonna get the same result, similar, completely different? Let's find out. Ooh, that's fairly similar. It stopped faster. There could be a few reasons for that. For instance, the salt is larger grains, so it's easier for steam to escape, but we are getting a little bit of that quick reaction to it. It just glows, it doesn't really burn the same way. That looks really cool, it's bizarre. You can't really tell what's going on, but it does look neat. Kryptonite cereal or something. Kryptonite cream of wheat. Again, thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. You can get a six month discount on their new Audible Plus plan by using our holiday promotion. Visit audible.com slash kingofrandom or text kingofrandom to 500 500. Guys, that's it for today, but we've got a lot of other great videos you should go check out. Hit that box right there to see one of them now, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.